down, dude. Down, down. Yeah, Haribo, Jai Govinda Prabhu. Haribo. <laughs> All right, so we're having uh, continuing the series of how people became devotees in 10 minutes, okay? So also. your turn, go. He's in like the 10 minutes start running right now? Starting right now. All right. Speak up so we can hear you on the mic. Okay, huh? so then I'll take 10 minutes of cutting tomatoes. All right, um, cool. Became a devotee definitely by Gurudev's mercy, by Vaishnav's mercy. I was, I was in my hand. I was in my hand. I was in Hindi. I was in Hindi. I was in Hindi. I was in Hindi. Shamananda Prabhu Kripaya. I was in Hindi. I was in Hindi. Anyway, so um, <coughs> you started um, uh, with me and my brother. Sure. We were uh, these young kids born. Born as a devotee, as you can say, raised uh, as karmis, a slash devotee kind of thing. We uh, we were born in Mexico City, and then and then my mom, she was a devotee. She became she was a devotee when we were born. So then we kind of like born into traditional life. But then she, we never we never went to Guru We never you know actually did devotional activities too much. But I remember I, sometimes I would go to school with tilak on and because I was in a karmic school I would be a little shy like oh my god why do I have tilak on you know and then people ask me what is that on your forehead because I, sometimes I would erase it before going to school. So um, and then we would go to the Sunday feast every Sunday to the Iskon, uh, the Iskon in Mexico City. It was really nice. And then time went by, we were just, you know, for me it was Krishna's blue, yeah, you know, we got the... Krishna's the, blue? Krishna's blue, Krishna's God, we're vegetarians, howdy ball, you know, that was all. People, was. people accepted that? Yeah, well, sometimes we didn't share that to people a lot, you know, they were like, what are you? And we're like, yeah, we're Hare Krishna's. What's that? Oh, I don't know, some religion from India, like that kind of thing. Simple. Simple. So then, um, so then we had a band, me and Rupa started a band, called Masapan. Cool, some great friends, band, awesome. Some friends new maybe. videos. Yeah, we're waiting for your next album. <laughs> 182 kind of uh, thing. So then, um, and then my mom met Gurudev in 2005, 2006. She even came to Kartik and everything. And then she told us about Gurudev. But you know, sadly, really sadly, I was really deep in Maya. You know, I was like hanging out. I was partying. I was doing tons of like, can I say drugs and all that stuff here? Or you can edit it. No, nah, it's okay. Oh, okay. So, Reality TV. <laughs> Well, I was doing, you know, you can say I was into the dark side of the force. I went all the way, dark side of the force. Uh, the only devotional thing I was doing was wearing my neck beats, pretty much. And, uh, of course, you know, not, not doing that much of bad activities. But, you know, partying, hanging out, drinking and that. Especially with our band. Like, Rudez Mercy, our band got kind of successful. So we leave out of uh, our band for a while. And that was when my mom met Gurudev, that was when she came to Cardi, and then that was when she got a Gurudev association. But me and my brother, uh, we weren't into it too much. We were like, oh, pure devotees, yeah, we don't know if they exist. We would rather have fun and party. Anyway, and then uh, 2009, I don't know how it happened, but I guess by Gurudev's mercy and, you know, the Vaishnav's of prayers, even my mom's prayers, you know, she was praying for us a lot. Uh, I came to Gurudev, I met him, went to Badger, California, and I met him. And by his blessings, he accepted us, I guess. And then uh, we took Harinam and Diksha initiation from him. And then we were so happy because after that we were like, okay, now we got the blessings of Mahabhavad Vaishnav. Now we're gonna be like the Beatles, you know, because we still had our band. And we're like, we're gonna like party and we're gonna like preach because we have the blessings and this. And did Gurudev talk to you about the band? Like you told uh, me you had the band? No, nah, no, nah, never. Oh, you never. should have asked him. I know, I should have, but you know, I was. You would have been like, yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah, do it. Anyway, no, he, he didn't, but, uh, but then we came back to Mexico because we met in Badger, California. Really beautiful place, this is where I live right now, and uh, it's really sweet. So if somebody's looking at there and you're a Grijasta, you should definitely come because it's a really nice Grijasta community. We have cows, we have a nice garden, we have programs every day, we have like three artists a day, we have five offerings a day, we have two classes a day, morning and evening, and it's pretty cool though. Anyway, okay, so um, I understood a little bit what he said, but not a lot, so I just pretend that I did so I wouldn't look like a clown in the camera. <laughs> so, um, and then uh, is it 10 minutes? How much did I take already? You only got five, dude. Oh, all right, all right. So, I'm starting sweating, dude, because of the sun, but anyway. 
Um, <laughs> Orkia. Orkia. So what happened after that? Orkia Any cool things Gurudev said to you guys? Not really, you know, that was like kind of like the last days when Gurudev, uh, before he entered Nitya Lila. What year was that? When you 2010. Took? Oh, you took? Yeah. Six, uh, 2010. Well, we took, yeah, 2010. Last last year of Gurudev. Where, where did you take? In New Bridge. Oh, New Bridge. Yeah. Okay, cool. New Bridge, California, baby. Rock on. So, yeah, I guess it was meant to be because now me and Rupa both of us live in New Brach and we're kind of like, by Gurudev's mercy, we're just trying to like serve there, you know? Awesome. And then, um, and then, and then we came back and we're like, yeah, we're gonna be like the Beatles and stuff. Then, then we found out that our manager, our previous manager in the band, he kind of like stole money from us. We were, we were actually kind of cool, you know, we got signed by Sony, you know, the Sony BMG yeah. and we got two albums and we got like, nominated for the MTV Video Music Awards and we were actually, you know, climbing up there in the... You ripped you off though, huh? Yeah, so then, you know, they stole some money from us and then they didn't let us get our third album out and it was pretty bad. And then you might say that I kind of went into that phase, like pure devotee syndrome phase, you know, we're like, oh my god, you know. Okay. So then it was good because that phase got me through that depression, not depression, but it was like, ah, oh, screw this material world, you know, they just rip us off, we don't have money, I'm taking a break. So I sold all my stuff and I came to India. You sold all your equipment? <laughs> yeah, I sold all my stuff. And me and Rupa, we both did the same and we both came to India. And then we took a break from the band and that break still on because we never came back. After India, I was, you know, I, uh, I stayed in Mathura for uh, maybe three months, I believe. Met Prabhuji there? Yeah, I met Prabhuji there. How was that? And it was great, you know, I, I met a, a, a Vaishnava and I was like, oh my god, you know, and then I saw the boys in Matura and everything and I saw how happy they were and I was like, oh my god, I guess, I guess my mom was in line to me when she was telling me that, you know, this is not only a religion, this is definitely Sanatan Dharma, you know, what the real happiness of the soul is. Anyway, so then uh, I met Prabhuji there and then, and then after that I went to Bengal Prachar with Bhaktivanta Tirta Maharaj, it was really cool. Awesome. Yeah, it was really, really uh, life-changing experience with little Giri, Chota Giri, really cool. And even when we talk, or you know, one cool friend that also lives in New Bridge. And uh, and then ever since then, I just like stayed. We're, we're living in the mud. I was just living in the mud for a while. And then I travel, and then I did some preaching. Then I then I travel again with uh, some other sanyasis, and then I travel. Can I say the names of them? Yes or no? Whatever. Anyway, All good. <laughs> I just <laughs> anyway I travel. I travel with some sanyasis and it was pretty cool. And then I went back to Mexico and I travel again. <laughs> so you're still like a traveling uh, <laughs> artist type of thing. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Even like uh, two years ago, I was um, I did a tour with Kishori Mohan and Sudevi, and Sudevi, and I was a Miranga player with them. And then we traveled the states. And it was pretty funny because at that time that I was traveling the states doing like Kirtan tour, one of my friends from my you know my previous uh, life, you could say you know the rockstar kind of thing, he kept going, and then he he got really big and he has a production thing and everything. So he was touring with a band in the United States. So it was pretty funny because I guess it would have been my karma to travel in the United States, but instead of traveling in the United States with our band, we were traveling doing Kirtan. Wow, so better, huh? Yeah, way better. And then after that, I just I'm just still living in the mud, and it's, well, in New Bridge. New Bridge is kind of like the mud, and uh, it's really cool. And by Guru's mercy, I'm still here praying that, that I won't go I won't go back or I don't forget this because you know after a couple of years you can get a little fried. So definitely his what, mercy that keeps fried you. from like what? Fried as in like you know like. Devotional, like too much devotional service, I guess, or something <laughs> like. Oh no! Devotional like, service burnout. Yeah, yeah, kind of like like you know when you don't have a life, you know, because when you live in a temple, you feel like responsible to the temple and responsible to, you know, Gurudev's mission, I guess. Then you can get a little burnout, like oh my god, I, I'm, I mean, I mean, this my, I don't know, like oh, I, I need to go take a break, cause I'm always doing Mongol Arti, you know. When am I gonna like take a break to sleep, you know? So anyway, I'm just praying that I will never think like that and I can always stay in Sadhu Sangha. And I'm thankful for all the Bhakti Bandhav devotees who like give those Prabhuji's lectures in New Braj and to all the Vaishnavas that are, are showing me how to serve the Vaishnavas. And uh, yeah, it's been awesome. Yeah. Any advice? Five years I've been clean, guys. I haven't done anything in five years. So. Good job, good job. Thanks, dude. Any advice for devotees? <laughs> 
or new people? You know, once someone asked me, a couple, like, I remember in 2013, we were in an underdown with Prodigy and I was washing the pods in the nighttime. And it was so blissful, it was so nice. And I was sharing this story with one friend who was also a guitar player. You know, what happened to him, to Tarun, remember? From yeah, Holland? Yeah, he blooped. Oh, he got burned out. Yeah. Oh, you see, that's what I he was said. Talking. He said it was harder living in Afghanistan in the military than living in the Mott with the boys. Really? He said it was he he worked he served in Afghanistan for like three years. And then he and said, he said that. it was harder living in the Mott than being in Afghanistan. Yeah, it's hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> wow, that is that is heavy. Oh, I, it's probably because he was in the American <laughs> military instead of like the Afghanis, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, comfort. Yeah, that's what I was talking. You know, you can get burnt out for sure. Like easily, you get burnt out. But anyway, so. That's why I'm praying that I don't get burned out. So you're telling the story? Oh yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, I was telling that story to Tarun. I was watching Buzz and he asked me like, so you don't miss going back to that life when you had like everything and you were like playing and you were a musician and you had a, you know, you had money and fame and, and you know, all these things. And I was like, you know what? I, it was pretty fun and it was happy. But the bliss that I'm getting, Washing the pots at nighttime in Brindavan Dam in the association <laughs> in the with, winter. A, with a vice. Yeah, it was in the winter, so we were, it was really cold. But that bliss of knowing that you go to bed so tired and you didn't waste your day or you're not wasting your life and you're doing something for Gurudev and the Vaishnavs, it's totally, totally like, like definitely it's connected with the soul because you, you never experience that feeling everywhere. Even, even though you're a we rock had, star. Yeah, even if you're a rock star. people like, oh, rock star is one of the best yeah, you know, lifestyles. Yeah, people no. think it's great, right? And it was fun though. I mean, you get to travel, you get to do what you want, you get to do your music, you get money, you get fame, you get, you know, girls, you even get like drugs, free, all these things. It was pretty fun, but then that is just connected to the, the external. And, you know, I remember, I remember that when he asked me that, he's like, don't you miss it? And, and I was like, dude, the bliss that I'm getting right now, washing these pots in the nighttime, in the winter, in Vrindavan, in Ananda Dam, knowing that there's a Vaishnav who is happy with my service, and you know I'm doing something with connected with the soul. I would go to sleep, and I would I would feel like happy. Most people would probably say you got brainwashed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> well, I didn't get brainwashed because. Like I said, I kind of like was born into it, and I kind of like knew about Krishna consciousness. Since you always had like faith in Krishna. So I was always had like faith in Krishna. I always knew there was something out there. And I remember when I was a child, I would come and give my pranams, but I never kind of like had faith in Krishna's abilities, maybe, you know? Yeah. So it wasn't brainwashed because it was, I felt it. I felt a difference when I met, uh, when I met Gurudev, I totally felt the difference. It was From like so, you had yeah. met lots of devotees in other institutions. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah, yeah. And I and you know I never even tried to meet devotees. I was just like, oh, we would go to Ratayatra, Mexico City, and it was fun and everything. Sadhu Sangha wasn't really. Yeah, it wasn't. So yeah, much. I mean, Krishna's like, God, that's cool. But you know, not fading the devotees though. You know, not a strong connection yeah. with bhakti and like yeah, not, practicing. Not at all. Not at all. Like you know, I even I remember the moment I stopped chanting my rounds because I would chant when I was small. But then I remember the moment I was I stopped praying and everything because of bad association, though. Yeah. Anyway, it's definitely Krishna's mercy. They already passed ten minutes. <laughs> I just keep talking, dude. I just keep talking. I just talk and talk and talk. But are you gonna sing us one of your songs? Sing us the chorus from one of your songs. <laughs> nah, dude. I'm come on, come I'm kind of sick now, dude. And I suck at singing because you know in the in that. In, in that world, you know, there's a lot of auto-tune that you use, so we, we, no, we, did, we didn't use too much auto-tune, but we did, you know, we, we used some editing voices and stuff. But, uh, but now we have a new branch. rocking out last night in Kirtan. Yeah, now we have a new branch Kirtan band, it's pretty cool, the new branch. So it's pretty cool, you guys can check it out. It's uh, Takur, pretty cool, and then, you know, uh, Govinda and my wife, <laughs> my wife Govinda. Govinda Priya. and your wife. I don't know. Govinda, your wife. Govinda, my wife. <laughs> Govinda Priya. And then uh, Janava is also there. And then uh, me. And then uh, Rupa. And then pretty much everyone who lives in New Brat who likes to do Kirtan, we go out and preach and do Kirtan. Awesome. And yeah, so we should get out too. And uh, yeah, now we're into that and the Kirtan. It's pretty cool. All right, man. Thank you. No, thank you, dude. Talk to you later. Hadi, hadi, ho.